Can I, I give you see. one each? Serbian? No, thank you. No? No? No, no. no, no, no. Okay. Try this group. Uh, are they busy or? No, no, no. I don't want to interrupt them. No, no, Anybody no, no. want one? Three. I don't want any money. Oh, no. no, no. Talks about Jesus Christ. The gospel. Biblia. Eternal I life. No, no. Like one? No, thank you. Oh, okay. God bless you. Boże Blagoslav. Jesus is coming. We need to make sure we're ready. Because he's not coming as a lamb. He's coming as a king. And uh, we need to definitely get ourselves ready. Dobedan. Dobedan. Good morning. God bless you. Boże Blagoslav, everyone. My name is Carmen. Excuse me, I don't speak Serbian. Forgive me. But I have information in Serbian here. I have... Um, some Bibles here, the book of John, Serbsky. I don't want any money, it's for free. I'm here today to talk to you about something that's very important. Eternal life, the kingdom of God, the kingdom that's coming. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Lamb of God. The Bible says that He came 2,000 years ago for each and every one of us. He came that we could be forgiven for our sins. The Bible says that God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. And I know this is a Serbian Orthodox Christian country. Okay, I come from Canada. It's also declared to be a Christian country. And many people know about Jesus, but I have to say to you today that it's not, not enough to know about Him. We need to know Him. Because Jesus Christ, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, Jiv, He's alive. And Jesus Christ, Dolisi, He's coming again. And we need to have a true living relationship with Him. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, Gospodar, and you believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you shall be saved. Salvation comes through our faith in the Word of God. This is the authority. This is what God has given us to read, to understand. This is how He speaks to us. This is not just for the priest. This is not just for the pastor. This is for each and every one of us to receive and to understand. And this is what changes everything. When you understand the gospel, because there's many people that call themselves Christians, but we don't understand why did Jesus have to come? Why did this man have to die? And I'm going to tell you the reason why Jesus had to come, why Jesus had to die for each and every one of us, because the Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Each one of us, we are sinners before a holy God, and we each need God's forgiveness. And the Bible says, Biblia, kaže, that the wages for sin is death. The soul that sins, it shall die. This is the problem for all of us. This is the problem for me, this is the problem for you, because all of us have sinned against a holy God. And this puts God in a difficult position, because God is a just God. He has to punish sin, but He's also a loving God. He's a God that does not want to have to judge us for our sins. So what did He do? The Bible says that God, in His love for us, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. This is the gift. Serbsky. Serbsky. God bless you. Bože Blagoslav. I have Serbian information here. Forgive me. I can speak Italian and English, but I can't speak Serbian. I just know a few words. I'm learning. But this is the love that God had towards us that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. There needs to be a payment for our sins. The wages for sin is death. This is why we die. We will all face God one day and He has to punish our sins. So if we stand there in our own merit, in my own goodness, He has to punish me for my sins. I've sinned against God. You've sinned against God. All of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But God in His love for us 2,000 years ago, He sent His Son. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Gospodar, He did what you and I couldn't do, a perfect life of obedience to God, the only perfect life that's ever lived. And He was sent to be a sacrifice for our sins. He was sent that we could be forgiven. He stood in my place, He stood in your place, that the justice we deserve, the punishment we deserve for our sin, this man, Jesus Christ, who was the Son of God, took it in our place. This is why on the cross, before He died, He said, it is finished. He's paid the penalty in full. He died, he was buried, and on the third day, Jesus Christ rose again, and he's alive. He is seated at the right hand of God, and he's coming again to judge this world in righteousness. We're living in the last days. The Bible said Jesus would come the first time, 
and he says that he will come the second time. He will not come the same way that he came the first time. The first time he came, the Lamb of God that would take away the sin of the world, those that would trust in him. The next time he comes, he comes as the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Gospodado, Gospodara. He's coming. Jesus Christ. And he loves you. He wants... Excuse, I, I, I don't hear. Serbsky. Serbsky. Free. Sir, yes, Serbsky. Excuse, I, I don't speak. Here, here. Come, sir, come help me then. Come help me. Translate. No? Here's Serbsky. You don't want it. I think you just don't want Jesus. You know, we find every excuse. I'm sorry, I said I can't speak Serbian, but I have information in Serbian for free. I don't want any money. But the people that yell at me for not speaking Serbian, they don't want the information either. So it just shows that somebody does not want Jesus. And Jesus said that it would be like this. He said that the same way that the world rejected me, they will reject you. We all call ourselves Christians, but how many of us have a living relationship with Jesus Christ? How many of us know him? Because Jesus said there will be a day. He said there will be a day we stand before him. And he said that many that call themselves Christians, they will say, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Have we not in your name done many wonderful works? And he said to many, he will say, I never knew you. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. And I was one of these people for most of my life because I did not know the word of God. I truly did not know Jesus Christ. So I'm calling you today to come to know him. Call upon his name and the Bible says you shall be saved. If you have any questions, if you need any prayer, if you want to talk, if you even don't agree with what I'm saying, let's speak. God bless you. Bože Blagoslov, in Jesus' name. Take care. Serbsky? Or English? Serbsky? It's good? Yeah. God bless you. Most of other stuff. You speak English or? Hold on, I think. I might have one left, two in English. Where are you from? Cuba. Okay. I've been to Cuba a few times, a long time ago. Yes. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you, brother. Jesus Christ. Okay, God bless you. There's one one? Serbian? Jesus Christ? Yeah, we are but okay, okay, you, you. Speak, yeah, yeah, you can yeah, read yeah. this, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank God you bless so you. Much. You're welcome. You're welcome. You guys are here for vacation or? Yeah, yeah? That's two days. Two days. And yeah. then you go back? Uh, in Montenegro. Yeah. I, I, I've only driven through. I've never been there before myself. I just, I'm from uh, Toronto, but I live in Italy right now. And when you I came. You promote this. Huh? You promote this. Why? I, because Jesus saved me. He ah. saved me. And uh, after he saved me, I said, okay, I'm going to serve him with whatever time I have left here. Uh, because he's coming again and we only have a short time here. Uh, and uh, we see all the signs in the world. I believe in that too. Yes, amen. Amen. What's your name? Peter. Peter, nice to meet you. My name is Carmen or Carmelo. Your name? Igor. Nice to meet you. Igor, nice to meet you. And uh, yeah, so 2014, he saved me after I read the Bible, opened my eyes. And uh, now I go what around and preach. Hmm? What happened to you? Well, I'd say that I experienced many things in life and it just left me unsatisfied. Uh -huh. And in 2013, uh, I had never read the Bible before. Uh, I always believed in God, but I had never read it before. I always had it in my house. Uh, me too. But after that, I said, you know what, I want to know what it says for myself. Because we usually hear secondhand, you know, uh -huh. different people's opinions. And, you know, it's everybody has their own understanding. So I said, I want to know for myself, you know, because uh -huh. I believe in God. I believe there's heaven, there's hell. And I want to make sure I'm going to the right place. So, uh, so I downloaded an audio on my phone, uh -huh. and uh, I just said I'm going to listen to it from beginning to the end. Uh -huh. And I did that 2013, 14 over like six months in the mornings. I would listen, and that's what changed everything. I truly started to understand the gospel. I started to understand my need for salvation because um, you know I understood Christianity. I understood Jesus died, you know, and it says that he rose again from the dead. But I didn't understand really my need for him uh -huh. until. The Bible exposed my sin, right? Because we generally think we're good people, but there's nobody good before God. Yeah. And um, sure. I started to understand that, uh, you know, as much as I never thought I was a bad person, um, you know, even my goodness is, is, is it's like filthy rags before God. Uh -huh. You know, Isaiah is a prophet. He says, our righteousness is filthy rags. So it's not because we do good deeds that we can get to heaven. We can't work our way up to God. 
but he sent his son to rescue us. And he did what we couldn't do. He lived the perfect life in obedience to God the Father. And at the end of his life, you know the story that he went on the cross, but he went on the cross not for himself, for our, for our sins. He took our sin upon himself. He paid the price that's due because it says the wages for sin is death. So he took death in our place that we could live. And then on the third day he rose again because death could not hold him. And that's our... That's our the day will come for sure. Yeah, so there's a day that he's going to come again too uh -huh. because he didn't just ascend and, and that's it. It says he will come again to judge this world in righteousness. Uh -huh. So we want to make sure that we know him because we are living in the last days. We see all the signs in the world. You know, God is for shaking sure. the world <laughs> saying, wake up, you know. And I think he's even trying to wake up his church because I think a lot of the churches are still sleeping. And I know that in my own life, I was sleeping, right? But now it's just like he opened my eyes. I read this every day now. God speaks to me through it. I pray, I speak to him and I want to try my best by his grace. It's not because I'm good. It's not because I have uh, any special ability, but by God's grace, I want to serve him with whatever time that I have left here. Uh, you know, so if when somebody believes in what God's done for us, that Jesus is Lord, Gospodar, that means I'm no longer Lord of my life. He, he, he's in charge, right? So I want to trust in him and believe in him. Maybe you want to go in Greece, in Greece now? I've been to Greece. Yeah, yeah I've been to Greece a couple of times. Yeah. I haven't spent a long time there, but I've been to Greece, yeah. Yeah. And your next destination, eh? Well, I'm going back to Italy after uh, this week. I've been here for three months in Belgrade. I'm going back to Italy. That's where I live right now. But um, after that, I'm going back to Toronto. That's where I'm from. And then uh, after that, I'm supposed to go back to Italy. And then God knows after that. <laughs> yeah. Did you have some money for the... Well, I tell you, God has provided the things that I need. Uh... I left my work in 2016 and I didn't know how I was going to do it, but God, I felt he was calling me away from my work. And I just said, okay, if this really is God, then I shouldn't have to worry about money because I don't like when people, they say, you know, he is with you. Yeah. Yeah. So he's given me what I need for what I believe he has me doing. Not so much, but to enough. What I need, what I need. You know, I don't have the money I used to have before. So put it that way. I used to have a pretty good job that I had, uh, I had more than... I needed but now I have what I need for what he wants me to do and I haven't lacked anything along and the way so that, the steps. God promises to give us what we need Jesus mm -hmm. said he said seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and these things will be added to you so when we put God first in our lives he will give us what we need yeah nice to meet you yeah nice to meet you too How do you like? Have a nice nice to I like it I like it um, Belgrade is somewhere that I came the first time in 2017 uh, no hold on 2018 and um, it was my first time here. I didn't really know anybody that first time, but uh, I've been here every year since. This is my sixth time now in Belgrade. This is the longest time that I've spent here, three months. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, this is, uh, this is the gospel. This is where, when we think about really what's valuable in life, this life here is only for a time. The life to come is eternal. And Jesus came that we could have eternal life. This man defeated death. He rose from the dead and he promises those that trust in him, death is not the end. When he comes, the dead in Christ will be raised incorruptible. Those that are alive, that they're going to be changed. And he brings the kingdom to the earth. Heaven is not just in the clouds. He brings the kingdom of God here with his people. Those that trust in him. Those that are against him, they're going to face him as judge. And that's not where we want to face him, right? So he gave his life for us that we could be forgiven, that we could be brought into his kingdom and we could have peace with God. And this is the gospel. Yes. So nice okay, guys. Thank you. Nice God bless you. you. It was a pleasure to meet you. Take and, care. And uh, have a good rest of your time here in uh, Belgrade and uh, have a good trip back to Montenegro. Thank Maybe one so day I'll come to Montenegro. Where are you? Um, to? Hmm? Um, you travel to Montenegro? For yeah, me? Man. No, I said maybe one day. One, yeah. Maybe one day. No immediate plans to go there, but I'd like to go there one day, God willing. You must go. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, read what's inside when you have a chance. And my contact is on the back too. If you ever okay, want to get in touch or anything or have any questions, feel free. Thank you so okay? Much. God bless you guys. You. Thank you. Yeah. Take Come care. On. This dog is the dog of the square. It's always here, sleeping, sleeping in different places. <laughs> you guys, I forgot. Would you like to have one of these? It's the book of John. It's one of the books of the Bible. Somebody gave this to me. And if you'd like to read it, for sure. Go ahead. It's, it's one of the books that are in the Bible and uh, it shows uh, Jesus when he was here, made water into wine and those Thank stories. Thank you so much. Okay? Appreciate it. Okay, God bless you. Dobedan. Dobedan, good morning. Blagoslav, God bless you. Belgrade, my name is Carmen.
Excuse me, I don't speak Serbian, I speak English and I speak Italian, Italiano. But I have information in Serbian here. It's for free. I don't want any money. But this is information that is for each one of us very important. It speaks about God, Bog, the Kingdom of God, salvation, and how we are saved. The Bible says that God so loved the world that He gave His only... Srpski? God bless you. Boja Blagoslav. Gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. That God sent His Son into this world, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, not to condemn the world, but that through Him the world might be saved. And He is the way of salvation that God gave us, the only way. There is no other way to God except with Jesus Christ. Jesus, when He here on the earth, He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody will come to the Father but by Me. So there's many religions, there's many names throughout history that claimed to know the truth, but Jesus said, I am the truth. And He said, there is nobody that will go to the Father except they come through Me. This is why Jesus, Jesus Christ, He said, I am the door. He who enters in through Me, He will be saved. He will go in and out and find pasture. He said that I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, even though he dies, he will yet live. Jesus Christ, he died for our sins. The Son of God, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, died for you and died for me. Do you understand this? Gospodata, Gospodara. He died for us, but he rose again on the third day and he is alive. Jesus Christ, Jiv. He's alive, seated at the right hand of God, and Jesus Christ is coming again. Jesus Christ, Dolisi. He's coming to judge the living and the dead. So I want to ask you today, if you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, if you know Him, it's not enough to know about Him, but we must know Him. And He wants a relationship with us. He wants us to come to Him. He says, come unto me, all you that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He gives us rest for our souls. There's only one that can give us rest for our souls, the one that created us. We try to find rest in this world. We try to find peace. But the Bible, Biblia, says that there is no rest to the wicked. And unfortunately, because of our sin, every single one of us before a holy God, we do not have what it takes to enter into His kingdom. There is only one that was worthy, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Only one that paid the penalty for our sins. The wages for sin is death. But the gift of God, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. It's a gift that we receive by grace through faith. It's not of ourselves. No man, no man can boast when we stand before God because Jesus, Jesus Christ, He paid in full for us. On the cross, He cried out, it is finished. It is finished, paid in full. He died on the third day, He rose again. And He is seated at the right hand of God and He's calling us to a relationship with Him. For you, Srpski. And we can receive the invitation, we can receive a gift or we can reject it. But if we die in our sins, we will go to hell. If we pass through this life and we die in our sins, there's nowhere for us in God's kingdom. God's kingdom is perfect. Righteousness and holiness will be the thing of this kingdom that's coming. The kingdom that's coming, the kingdom of God, it says, wherein righteousness dwells. And none of us are righteous in our own merit, in our own goodness. There's nobody that can say that I am righteous before holy God. There's only one way that we could be righteous in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. He's the only one that made the way for us that we could be saved. He's the only one that lived the life acceptable and pleasing to God. He's the only one that gave His life for you and for me that we could be forgiven, that we can have eternal life in the kingdom of God. And He is the way that God gave us to be reconciled to a holy God. Because all of us have sinned. We need forgiveness. We need cleansing. And by His very blood that He shed, Jesus Christ, by the very life that He gave, we can have forgiveness, we can have redemption, we can have eternity in the kingdom of God. God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And many of us call ourselves Christians. I come from a Christian nation. Canada was founded on Christian values, but there's very few that know the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is a Christian nation, an Orthodox Christian nation, and I'm sure that everybody, almost everybody knows about Jesus. But how many of us truly know Him? Because to know Him is different than knowing about Him. Jesus said that on the day when we meet Him, because every one of us will meet Him, He said that there will be many that call out to Him and say, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in Your name? Have we not in Your name done many wonderful works? Have we not in Your name cast out demons? And Jesus Christ said to many that call Him Lord, He will say, 
depart from me. I never knew you. Workers of iniquity. Those are not the words that I want to hear. And it's not the words that you want to hear. Because it makes all the difference for all of eternity whether or not we know, truly know Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. It's not about religion, it's about a relationship with Him. He's alive. Jesus Christ, Jeev, He's alive. Sit at the right hand of God. Gospodada, Gospodara. And He's coming again. Jesus Christ, Dolisi. He's coming to judge this world. And God is calling this world to repentance. He's saying, Bokaitise, I'm coming again to judge this world. And the salvation, the gift is available to us. Boja Jesus Christ. No, no, no. No, no. Jesus Christ, Gospodara. Jesus Christ is Bog. Jesus Christ is God, manifest in the flesh, the Son of God, but God manifest in the flesh. Two thousand years ago, God through His Son visited us. Go to monastery Tuman. I hear a gold gift from me. This is uh -huh. uh, uh, Holy Mary. Okay. With, uh, with uh, Christ. Okay. But people here mm -hmm. are Can't real. Take one of these. No, uh, but I, the uh, Word of God. But this is like for what is this like? Common? Just describes the gospel. But this is sin for me. Why? I wrote this. This no, is this is how Jesus saves us. Yes, he saved us, but, but he, here... I'm sorry, I speak uh, English and Italiano. Uh, here, Italiano. Yeah, here people are Orthodox. I know. But we are... we hate like any kind, another kind of, of uh, preaching the Jesus, uh, about Jesus Christ. What's your name? Because we... my name is in my language fire. Okay, what is Fire. that? What is Ognien. that? Ognien. 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 And your name? Slavica. 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 The glory, glory. one. Glory. Yes. yes. My name is Carmen or Carmelo. Carmelo. Yes. You know, and, and I understand, you know, the sentiment, because like there's all these different religions. You and must even, visit first. I, to, I, I have to visited see. different churches here, but I, I go to um, a church here that. Uh, it's it's called, not about church. Okay. Go to monasteries. You yes. will see at the. But it's uh, not even about monasteries. I tell, you, I tell you why. Yes. It's about if we truly know Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. And yes. it doesn't matter if you're Orthodox, Catholic, Evangelical, no. Baptist. It, it means, it means. Huh? Do, you know, do you know why? Do you know why it means? Huh. Because we didn't change nothing from the beginning. Or Catholics and everybody well, else well. changed it. They well, changed it. Ogden? Ogden, Ogden, yes. Ogden, when you read the Bible, the many things have been changed. But Many it's, it's not about and this, and this, uh, it's this not about is, uh, this, the Bible. No, it is. It is because it's not possible to this have. This is the gospel. Speaks about how we're saved. They, Jesus Christ. You, and you wrote it. Yes, I did. I wrote yes, it in yes, English. Like and my friend. Like it's not any sex. No, 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 no. This is me. This is me here. Yeah, no no sex. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. No organization sent me. Alone. Jesus. You don't believe in religions. You believe only I believe in Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The own direct no. And I believe this. Ogden, Ogden, Ogden. Am I to Ogden? Ogden. I believe that in the Orthodox Church there's those that believe. But there's many, they just go there but they don't know. Yeah, anything. yes, yes, it's true. So in this every is true. religion. Nobody knows that yes. nobody is interested in God. Yes, amen. Money and yes, food yes, food yes. And, and this is this is how food. this is how the true religion have been corrupted. And when I read the Bible the first time myself, yes, 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 exactly. You will have it bless might... from me mm -hmm. and from my people when you start preaching Orthodox religion. No, no, no. Here. I, I because preach it... Jesus Christ. But, and there's, that is or, good. there's Orthodox but... people that receive me and there's yes, Orthodox yes, people that yes. reject me. But take Orthodox cross and speak no, 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 about no. Jesus Christ. I, I, I have the Bible, the word crazy. of God. It's okay. It's not... <laughs> they thought respect... Jesus was crazy. Do you respect Pope? Pope. Do you respect Pope? I respect anybody that follows the That is the not word of possible. God. He is false. He, no, he, no, no. I, he I, thinks I, that he is God on the oh, earth. Oh, you're talking about the Roman Catholic Pope? Yes. No, no, no. No, I don't. Know. And you are Orthodox. Man. Then you are Orthodox. <laughs> yes, then you are Orthodox. I, I follow Jesus. We I, follow I trust, only Jesus. Listen, listen Ogden, Ogden. Yeah. I don't, this is Jewish. I don't trust. Crap. Yes, yes. That, no, that, that is the Old Testament Jewish. only. The whole book. The whole book. But Jesus was a Jew. His disciples were Jews. But yes, Ogden, Ogden, Ogden. Yeah. Um, what I was going to say, and now you made me lose, I lost my uh, train of thinking. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's only through Christ that we have redemption. It's only oh, through That him. is orthodox so, religion. Okay, but I'm just saying this. Mm -hmm. In every denomination, yes. there's things that shouldn't be there. There's traditions that shouldn't be there. So we have to, each one of us, all of us, look and see what the Bible it's says. It's impossible to yeah. remove tradition tradition from we, certain people but, but I'm because saying, religion and traditions here is connected but, but we have to follow jesus you can't follow but a then religion. you are orthodox 
Well, you are Orthodox, my brother. Well, if that's what you believe, then well, yes. you know, if you believe in Jesus, that he you. died for your sins and well, he rose again, that is, then Slava Jesus. Slava Jesus. Slava Jesus. How do you say when a uh, daughter sleeps with her father? With, sorry? How do you call it when daughter sleeps with her, with that's her father? That's incest. Yes, incest. that's all testimony. Yeah, 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 but yeah. The, but these things happen. But it was not. It was it not. It's not from God. But no, it no, was it wasn't a, from God. Tradition. Uh, but yeah. this book, uh, yeah. the real mm -hmm. book from mm -hmm. God, there is no um, you you obscenity. Name no, 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 no. That's not true. That's not true because God, He is a God of truth, and He showed. I he showed. This is Slavica, about Jews. Slavica. Slavica. How you? How's your name? Carmelo. 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 No, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. God is a God. God yeah, is. A, yeah, okay, you did you take one? Yeah, here, read it, read it, read it, read it. And my contact is on the back. If you ever, uh -huh. I'm here just for one more week, uh -huh. and then I go. Uh, where do you go? I I go back to Italy, Italia, uh -huh. and then I I go back to Canada Super. afterward. Well, yeah. You need more there because there is Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, everywhere, here, here everywhere, are, everywhere. Yeah. But look at me. I just gifted you the the. We have every people ask. Do you have a one icon of? Ask them. They have. We yeah. are a religion. Yeah, we yes. are in the wrong place. But, but, but Ogden, Ogden, <laughs> the icon, maybe it's something that helps us to remember what God did for us. No, 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 no. But no. these things are it's not... These like things it's are not... matriarchy. It's like believing more uh, like true mother. Uh -huh. You can feel uh, feel more love, like love to the God. But the Bible says this. This is where we the have to read the Bible. The, the Bible is about the Jews, not God. It says, hold on. <laughs> no, 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 hold on. Slavica, don't leave. No, no. God is Jog, a Jew. Before you go, Jesus is a Jew. Biblia says that yeah. there's God and there's man and there's one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. We have to go to him. No matter but what. He is a God. What, he is God, he is. but he was also a fully man that was sacrificed yes. for our a sins. Jew. Yes, and this is a, yes. yes, a Jew. Yes, yes he's a Jew. Yes. If you yes, say this to the Jews, you're saying this to Jesus Christ. He's a yes, Jew. He, all true. the all the disciples were Jews. But Matthew Jews was a Jew. All, all the dis what? But the Jews killed him. The Jews and killed the government him. killed them. And it's the same thing today. Whenever whenever religion and government come together, it becomes corrupt. Jews but you are don't. Orthodox. Go to our monastery. Become <laughs> uh, Jews. Oh, Jews says. told to Jesus uh. that he Adia, was you are a good Satan. Man. God bless you. Yeah. God, God bless you, Ogden. Ciao, yeah. Good yes. luck. Keep in touch. Send me an email or something, okay? Sorry. Jews told to Jesus that yeah. he was a Satan. Jews told to Jesus. Yes, but Savitsa, this is what you have to understand. It was not all the Jews. The Jews, the regular people, the normal people, they saw him. They knew that he was the Messiah, the, the Christ. Even why, Peter, why? Peter was a fisherman and why? Jesus said to follow Peter, me. And they Peter followed. is a Greek name, not a Jew name. No, but his name... Luke, met, Matthew, they were John. All, they were all Jews. Only maybe Luke was not a Jew. Um, they, as far as... What, those names are Greek, not Jew. Yes, but they're Greek Jewish. because the Bible was written in Greek. So the, 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 the names got translated. Even the name Jesus is Yeshua. Do you believe it's, the it's, Jews are the chosen people? I believe that God chose the Jews to bring the Messiah into the world. And through the covenant... Jesus told the Jews that, they are, that their father is he told, Satan, he told, not Abraham. Yes, but listen. He told the establishment, the religious establishment, that they were not of their father Abraham, because if they were of their only, father Abraham, they only, would believe what he only said. Establishing him from Abraham, but not the people, regular people. They are not from the, Abraham. The, no, the regular people not realized who Jesus was, and they received him. Regular Jews, Jesus. right? So it's the same thing today. That is not a Jew. There is no Jesus, such. Jesus Christ in the flesh was a Jew. No. He, he was, was in the spirit. Uh, from you, in the flesh, in the flesh, he was from the line of David, a Jew. And you know, to what you said earlier, I just want to there say this. There was never Savica, Israel. Savica, what you said earlier about you know the God would not have um, recorded these things. Obscenity. Yes. It's not true because God is a God of truth, and He recorded when His people did right, and He recorded when His people did wrong. He's not a God that respects persons. He tells the truth the way it is. Even King David, who was the king that there was one never second. Israel. Uh, how the, do king, you say? the king, the king, the Messiah, the Messiah. There was never Israel. Yes, Israel, David was seated empire. on the throne and this there was, was a great empire. King Solomon. There was never a temple okay, of Okay, Slavica, but but you just is, This is Jewish it, imagination. Okay, but Slavica, if you deny these things, then you deny what the word Jews of God says. Never were Egyptians you, slaves. You never, 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 never. Slavica. Never there was never Sla Mo Moses. Slavica. You're denying the true Christ. No. And you're receiving I antichrist. I deny Jewish crap. Okay, well that's Bible. 
is Jewish. So yeah. you're calling the Bible crap. That's your decision. When Jesus returns you, a second time. Do you hear me? I, I hear was you. Never, uh, Jews never were uh, Egyptian slaves. That's there not true. was never That's Moses. not true. That's give not true. Me, give me. And, and if you call yourself a Christian and you believe in Jesus, what Jesus, which Jesus, which Jesus do you believe in? They find many archaeological things. I believe things. in God. I believe in truth. I believe that people are all from God. Jews believe people that are created they, by God. Yeah. And people but are going to be judged by God. And there's one way that we can have <laughs> forgiveness before Holy Jews God. It's through the Jewish Messiah, that Jesus people Christ. That, 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 that God made only Jews by His image. No, 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 that's not true. God yes. made man in his own image. All of man. Jews, we, Jews, are all, we are all children Jews of Adam and Eve. Jews told me that. Jews told me okay, that. Okay, but don't listen to... We, this is where, you know, people are going to say things from both sides. Whether the Jew Jews or whether the Gentile... Jews reject they, Jesus, even today. Generally, yes, you're right. Okay, but I'd say this, that many people that call themselves Christians reject Jesus because they say his name with their mouth, but he's not in their heart. They're not living for him. But they don't and this even, was even have Jesus in the, in, on the mount, Jews. Well, I would, they hate I, Jesus. I would rather, I would rather, and God even would rather, I say this, God would rather that we deny him with our mouth than to play lip service for him. Jews are and, saved. And our, and our heart is far it's from him. It's written in the New Testament. The Jews are saved. No, it's not true. It says that when the fullness... Jesus told them, Savitza, you, your, when the fullness of the Gentiles... Your father listen, is a Satan. When the fullness of the Gentiles, when all the other people are saved that God plans to save. Because if you're not a Jew, you're a Gentile. Me and you, you we're both Gentiles, yes. right? When that is finished... We are when, animals in, in human form. Hold on, no, no. When God, when, when God finishes the salvation of the Gentiles, His focus goes back to Israel, His people. Because there the covenants... Because, because the covenants are through Israel. The covenants are through them. The, the, we are counted according to the promise through Abraham's seed. This is Jewish crap. No, this is the truth. And no. if you call it crap, you're denying your own salvation. You're denying Jesus. You're denying Christ. That's your logic. Well, That's you're, your you're, you're, receiving, you're receiving Antichrist. And he's coming. And he's going to have the same sentiments that you do as well. Jews are Antichrist. Jews Antichrist. So, some of them are. Some all of them are, of them. And, 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 Jesus, of them. and Jesus even said, no, that's, that's wrong, ah, that's yeah. wrong. Jesus even said that there are some that are of the synagogue of Satan that claim they're Jews, but they're not. So Jesus but acknowledges this, but, but, it, but, if you put them all, but if you put them all in one category, okay, you are being deceived by the devil, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, you are come to the truth. The Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking the truth. Give me proof that, a Jew, that a Jews were slaves in Egypt. It's all here. You could either receive what the Bible says or reject it. That's the choice we have to make. So you can call yourself Christian. You, you can go to church. If you, reje if you reject science, the word of God, science. you're rejecting history, God. History, science. You don't prove God by science. Okay? God I created, don't speak God, about God. God, God created think, science. I think about earthly things. God, God about created science. Being Jews. Watch your keys, Phil. God created about, science, I'm talking okay, about and He allows us to test them to a certain extent, but we don't put God to the test. There's, there's, there's a time where it says, I've showed you enough, you just don't want to believe. That's why many of the Jews, okay, they said, oh, show us a sign. When Jesus showed them so no many sign. times, and I He said... I speak about uh -huh. earthly, earthly things, not about God. Okay, you need to about speak about heavenly earth. things, because Jesus Give is going to come to judge this world. In fire, he's gonna burn this place up, and you're gonna be you're gonna be worried about the things here. He's you gonna burn twist, it all up. You twist things. No, I'm I'm saying what the Bible says. I'm yeah. saying what the Bible says. Biblia. This is this is the authority. This 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 Biblia. Biblia. Biblia is the authority over everything, over the church, over our lives. We either receive the word of God or we reject it. God bless you. Yes. When Jesus saved me, yes, I became a fanatic for him, <laughs> and you would too. Come to Him, the true Jesus, not this Jesus that you have imagined, but the Jesus of the Bible. I know. The Bible is the Word of God. This is the true Christ. I know much more than you ever can imagine. Okay, well, knowledge does not save us. Knowledge of God. God. Knowledge of God, but the true God, not the God that we imagined in our mind. Jesus said that you will know the truth. Goodbye. And I'm going to be praying for you. I'm going to be praying for you. Boże Blagoslav, okay? I'm going to be praying for you. Jesus, Jesus Christ, He said, you will know the truth and the truth will make you free.
There's many lies in this world. There's many stories, many ideas, many impressions even of who Jesus is, Jesus Christ. And even in the church, there's a false Christ. There's a Christ that does not look anything like what the Bible says and what Jesus taught and how he told us we ought to be. And we need to read the Bible. We need to read the Word of God. This is where we understand who God is, truly. This is the authority that God gave us. This is the truth that God gave us that we can come to know Him. The Word of God is the truth. This is the only way that we can truly know who God is. This is the way we test everything to see it's of God. We can see whether people or religions are from God by the test of the Word of God, by the test of Scripture. And any person or any religion, any organization, any church that goes against what the Word of God says, they are in error and they're going to face God as their judge. This is why Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, when He comes the second time, I'm going to read what, what it says. When Jesus, Jesus Christ, comes to visit us the second time, He will come the second time, not as a baby, not to go to the cross. He's coming, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Gospodado, Gospodara. Jesus Christ, Dolice. He's coming. And this is what the Bible says, Biblia, when Jesus Christ returns. It says this in Revelation chapter 19. It says, I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat on him was called Faithful and True. In righteousness he does judge and make war. His eyes were a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. He was clothed in a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him on white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he would smite the nations. And he will rule them with a rod of iron. And he treads the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of Almighty God. And he has on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. The King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Word of God. Jesus Christ, his title, one of them will be the Word of God. And that's why we need to know what this says. We need to know what the Bible says for ourselves. Don't trust any other man to show you what this Bible says. You need to read it for yourself. You need to pray and ask God to reveal himself to you. You need to pray and ask God to show you. And this is where our eyes will be open. And as I said, Jesus said, you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. Don't depend on anybody else. Jesus, Jesus Christ said there's going to be great deception in the last days. If it were possible to deceive the very elect. And we're living in the last days. There was more people that say they were about God, but they're actually against them than there is that are people that are truly seeking the truth and want to bring you the truth. So you need to truly seek God. And this is our responsibility to get on your knees before God. Ask Him to forgive you. Ask Him to save you. Ask Him to show you the way. Jesus Christ, He died for your sins. He was buried. He rose again. And He's seated at the right hand of God. Boże Blagostov, Slava Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless the black stuff. Serbsky. God bless you. Jesus Christ, Jeev. Dolly say. God bless you. Hey, brother. How are you, brother? I'm doing good. <laughs> good it's to see you. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. I, actually, uh, every single time I go here, I'm actually seeing if you're around. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I uh, sent you a couple of emails. You sent me an email. For some reason, they came back. And then I yeah. responded to a comment on uh, yeah, no, YouTube I, I, and then I, I wasn't sure what happened. Yeah, yeah, I'm checking my emails every shop and nothing is showing up. I don't know why. Uh, you some, know. some funny things going on. Yeah. <laughs> you know I what? I, I noticed even with YouTube, the comments, they get manipulated sometimes. Yeah, and yeah, uh, I, I only God knows why, yeah, but uh, see, everything's in his control. I com uh, comment on your videos and mm. literally nothing shows up. I check it like a couple days later, my comment is gone. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know yeah. why, why that's yeah. happening. I've noticed that too. When I respond to people, sometimes I'll look back, the comment's gone. Yeah, I and, see uh, that. Well, some there's of some your videos, there's only like maybe one comment. Yeah. On like a thousand or so. Yeah. 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 And um, I, I, I know that things are manipulated, but God's in control and uh, I keep posting. I trust yeah. that, uh, you know, who needs to see things will see it. Yeah. And uh, how are you doing?